first thing you do is remove the top covers just to pop out these little plastic pins and uh, remember to put them keep them together and I've got enough of a habit of losing them so pop that cover off then I think that's an allen key five millimeter and I've only got three left in it now I've lost that many over the years and you pop off the top cover the next thing you do is underneath the car and you disconnect uh, all these fittings there's three plastic ones along the front and uh, you've also got these ones down the side they're just a, a screw fitting but they're a bit corroded mines but there's three along the front there and then remove the radiator cap so you can drain down the system then at the bottom of the radiator unscrew that blue plug and let the system leak down then I think this is a, a 6mm socket you, you loosen this little banjo joint here a bit stiff and then you then release that jubilee clip it goes on to the EGR cooler thermostat this can be a bit of a problem too, I changed mine but that wasn't the problem uh, for the the low temperature in my car and then you pop that hose off then the next thing you release, I think that was a 5mm allen key again you release the three of them on this uh, EGR cooler bit so this top one's it's okay to get out and it's okay to put back in it's, it's quite short this bottom one's okay to take out but putting the thing back in is a pest so I just left it, didn't bother putting the thing back in and then you've got the third one which this is a longer one uh, this is not too bad for the access so you can see that's the longer of the three and the next thing you want to do is release the EGR cooler into the exhaust you see these, I think that's a Torx fitting, can't remember the size and you, there's two of them, one at the top one and it's a real pain to get the one at the bottom and then it all should just lift off after that as you can see that there's the where the exhaust gases come through Hello, and uh, it comes off the one and that's where the, these two bolts are that, that cover there, that slips back and forward so when you put it back on, make sure you line it back up. See, that can move back and forward. But I've got the top one in, and I've still got the bottom one in. So, a job for another day, I think. Then you remove the actual thermostat. Uh, you pop you pop these clips out, and then you see I pop the clips up, then you just pull it out. <coughs> and then I then went to give a bit better access to remove these this hose, the charge hose, and uh, <coughs> then remove this... I think it's a 10mm bolt and that's to give you some wiggle room uh, I think I'll wiggle it here and you wiggle that back and once you, you remove that you can then remove the thermostat now the, the thermostat is held in by four I think it's E8 Torx fittings it's, uh, but I'll, I never had the right size torch so I just use a quarter a quarter inch socket and that took these four uh, fixing bolts off that thing so that's all went off I couldn't really see much wrong with it but it was leaking a bit at the side so you then clean up the mating surface make sure that's spotless and put it all back together then this is me showing you the bleed screws slacking all the, the bleed screws off there's three of them that's on the top of the EGR cooler and then top up your cooling system till it comes out these bleed screws rev the engine make sure that there's no air coming out and then go in and put your heater up to maximum and the blower on to low and put your top back on and then take it up to two and a half thousand revs and watch the, te the temperature rise back up uh, it's a bit of a fiddly job but it'll save you a few pounds and you should watch your, uh, your temperature get back up so hope that helps somebody out there who's having to face this job and check your hoses see that they're, they're all warm and full of water cheers the last thing I had to do was actually see this new thermostat, I had to plunge it into boiling water in order to loosen it off so I could fit the BMW original pipes back into it so I think it was because I got this for German and Swedish and it wasn't an original BMW part it was a lot tighter so that was a tip, put it into boiling water to loosen it off, cheers